Hey everyone, it's day two aboard the Global Mercy, not Africa Mercy. I keep saying Africa Mercy, so you'll have to forgive my habit that has built up over years and years spent on the other ships. So um, the Global Mercy, it's day two. Been a really great day. I've uh, been working on the hospital chaplaincy videos. I have also been catching up with people. I just, again, one of the things I love so much about this community, Mercy Ships itself just has this mission to share God's love with people in tangible ways and in ways that bring holistic healing and health and fullness of life. And I just feel like that kind of mission draws like-minded people together. So no matter what ship you go on to or what field service, what year, there just is this instant connection that I feel with people here. And so I have really enjoyed getting to feel at home on a ship I have never been to. That to me is such a testimony of God's spirit at work in mysterious and wonderful ways, drawing people together. So I've enjoyed just catching up with people, talking to people. Um, and I think it's, our, I'm realizing it's already evening and I have not made a vlog, which I idealistically told myself I'd make a vlog every day. So I'm here filming this. I've seen your comments of things that you're interested in and I'm hoping come this Monday, cause it's the weekend right now. So everyone's either off ship or busy, but I figured come Monday, I'm gonna to start to try to find those uh, different people that you have uh, requested interviews from, like whether it's in the engine room or you're interested in, someone said they wanted to hear from a writer. So yeah, also if you're watching these vlogs and you're on the ship right now and you would like to share or talk about what you do, feel free to reach out because I'd love love to just even just for like a minute or two just capture um, a little description of what you do and what brought you to the ship love sharing stories on this platform so if you're on the global mercy right now know that i want to tell your story so come find me first thing that's really different from the africa mercy elevators everywhere that you can like use not just for like supplies for people check that out took me right up to deck 10. Oh, it's the academy. Oh my gosh. Okay, well I have a chance to see the academy on Tuesday. So we'll come back then. For now, let's see where we wanna go. What's weird for me right now is in this one spot, I feel most connected to the Africa Mercy and the Anastasis. I kind of feel really sentimental standing here because I got the green deck, which was just classic of the Africa Mercy. But then you got the, the brown, the wooden handle, or not handle, do I even, did I even grow up on a ship? Uh, hand railing. <laughs> It's day three aboard the Global Mercy here. <clears throat> Still the weekend, so haven't gotten to see the ship functioning as it, as it normally is on a weekday. But I'm heading off ship uh, to see a little bit of Dakar with my mother, ma mère. And then I'll be catching up with um, some crew members tonight. Maybe I can include them in the vlogs. Going to church tonight. After Sunday church, there's always like games and coffee and cookies in the in the one of the lounges and so it'll be a full day i'm sure and then tomorrow i've arranged already to get a tour of the galley uh and hopefully some of the other things you guys have listed so excited to continue to bring you on the journey of a day in the life on the global mercy so i will uh yeah i'll just keep filming and we'll see what happens <laughs> We're on our way, my mom and I, to find a taxi to practice our great French, right, Mom? Oh, yes, we are pro level. <laughs> I defended myself. Oh, yeah. Mom's just rocking it with the French and ordering our taxis <laughs> <laughs> and explaining why we're so cheap. 